Hey, welcome to Pro Mindset today. Today I have a special edition show for Pro Mindset. This is being released on July 4th, and we're a couple of days before the July 4th. There is no guest, there's no script, there's no plan. I just want to share with you guys. I want to wish everybody a, a happy 4th. Guys are going to be, families are going to be at the lake, the beach, hiking in the mountains, at the park, doing picnics, playing golf, all those types of things. Spending time with family and friends. And the 4th of July commemorates the independence of the United States. I wasn't there. None of us were there. It, England and all of its different entities uh, apparently was founded in the, in the 10th century. And then it went through a lot of different changes over the years. But America was discovered by Christopher Columbus in 1492. We didn't become a country until 1776. That's almost 300 years. So what I want to talk about today is how, how does that have any relevance to pro mindset? Well, we all have our own constitution. We all have our declaration of independence. We all have, those, have all those things that we'll die on a hill for. And my encouragement for all of us and for you and for everybody is that you consider um, contemplating on the 4th of July what most of us do on New Year's Day. On New Year's Day, a lot of times we do um, goals, uh, New Year's resolutions. Because it's mid-year, I would recommend, I do recommend, that you take a moment and reflect on what your story is. Pro Mindset is about unlocking your story so you can transform your future. If you can reflect on your story, where you're at, what you're doing, what you're about, what you stand for, um, what you haven't, who you haven't forgiven, what you haven't forgiven yourself for, uh, reframe some of those rejections and disappointments and failures so that they're for you, not against you, and you, you can release those from, from your resistance parachute or from your backpack, not carrying them around, as I've shared many times. <clears throat> It's really a time to identify those things that you stand for. I can only imagine back in the late in the 1770s, there were some people that uh, wanted to stay. Some people wanted to go. Some people wanted to be independent. Some people wanted to have their own country. I'm sure with the distance, uh, lack of communication, the time it took for all the simple things that we take for granted today because of smartphones and and, and technology, there was a disconnection between our country, America, and our home country, England. And I think sometimes we have a disconnection between where we want to go and where, where, we, where we are or where we've been. And I think it's so critical to re reflect and strategize. Reflection is about how you got to where you're at and strategizes about identifying how do you build a bridge between where you're at and where you want to go. I talk about we're all living on an island. I'm living on Craig's Island, but to be truthful, I'd rather live on Craig's Dream Island. And there's a, there's a space or there's a gap between those islands, where I'm at and where I want to be. Okay, talk about being more in focus, really identifying your story and being focused on who you are, whose you are, and how you, how you became the person you are today. And compare that to that dream island of where you want to go. Most people think it's an outside game. Got to pick up certain skills. Got to do certain things, wear certain clothes. Got to look apart. Got to have the right diploma from the, from the prestigious school. All those types of things. I believe it is an inside game. If you're looking for a life partner, if you're looking for a better job, um, you want to make a change, you want to make more money, you want to live in a different place, it's more about becoming the person that will attract that new Dream Island situation. It's becoming that person that's going to attract the type of person you want to have as a life partner. It's, it's enhancing your skills and developing your skills 
so that you're an attractive candidate to the employer that has the skills that you develop. It's making the connections and, and refining your ideas as an entrepreneur so that you can track the business and the opportunities that are consistent with success as an entrepreneur. So really all I wanted to share today, I didn't want to take a lot of time, was just really tap into who you are, compare that to who you want to be. And once you identify that gap, you really get an, you really get to figure out, you really can divide it into two parts. Everything that's for you, that serves you, that will help you enjoy life more, experience more, have more success, and you get to define success compared to the things that hold you back. A lot of times when I when I'm coaching people, depending on their age, they are living on a loop that is sometimes decades old. And it's remarkable that you can find yourself in your 40s and you're still living on on the belief that you had when you were 15 or 20 or 25. And if you're even older than 50, it might be something that happened in your 20s and 30s. But the bottom line is you're not living in the now. And one of the most joyful places to be is to live in the now. To be fully present in what you're doing right now. Be where your feet are. I had a challenge when I was traveling all over the country and I had small kids. I would be at work somewhere in the country and I'd be thinking about my kids. And then I'd be at the kitchen table at home with my kids and I'd be thinking about work. So it makes sense that I probably wasn't operating on all cylinders when I really wasn't where my feet were. I was the majority, but I wasn't 100%. And so in sports, I think one of the things that, and as a performer, sports are performance in anything. It could be in sales, it could be anything. Being fully present is a present. Being fully present is the number one element of being the best you can be in your biggest moments. Whether you're looking at the NBA, you look at the NFL, you look at any professional WNBA, look at professional golfers. When they've got distractions, they don't perform as well. When we have distractions, we don't perform as well. And that's why I've introduced the concept of a performance bubble so you can win on stage. And creating that performance bubble where you have anchors. These are things that you want to have. I know what I want to have. I want to have peace. I want to have freedom. I want to have flow. I want to have confidence. I want to believe in who I am regardless of what I'm doing. What I don't want is fear, doubt, hesitation, indecision, memories of the last time I did this and I didn't do so well. When I play golf, I, don't, I, want, to, I want to forget all the times I've triple bogeyed, quadruple bogeyed a hole. So I don't, I don't jinx myself and I don't put that negative overtone on my game. I want to pretend like it's the first time I played that hole. And so if you're really looking for a breakthrough in your performance, you feel like something's holding you back, a lot of times it's because you're not fully present. Then you got to ask the question, why are you not fully present? Because you're distracted and because you're, bring, you're, you're heavy. You're bringing things with you you don't need to bring with you. And that's where the performance bubble with boundaries can demarcate the difference between the things that serve you and the things that don't. And you're going to show up and walk into a performance bubble if you intentionally create it. But if you don't rewrite your story, you're living your old story. So it's no different than going back to the Independence Day. The United States became a country, I think 13 states, a colony of 13 states, because they wanted something different. They wanted new leadership. They wanted their own rules. They wanted to govern themselves. They didn't want to be dealing with the, the history and the... <clears throat> with the structure of what was going on in Europe and England. And so as a consequence, they developed their own benchmark, their own rules, their own policies called our constitution, our amendments, our declaration of independence, all those things. And so I'm going to encourage you today, if you're still listening, to take a moment and draft your own declaration of independence from your past. And your new constitution for what you stand for. 
what you're willing to die on the hill for. What's the most important to, things to you? And more about who you are than what you do. We are human beings. We are not human doers. We talk to each other like we, we're human doers. And then what you up to? What you been doing? How's your job going? How's your career? But we're really human beings first. And I would encourage you to talk to your friends and family today as a human being to a human being. Don't eat too many hot dogs. Don't drink too much beer. Don't have too much fun. God bless you all. And everybody have a happy 4th of, 4th of July. And we'll catch you next week on another episode of Pro Mindset. It's Craig Doman, the host of Pro Mindset Podcast. I want to thank you for listening or watching today's show. And you can catch us every week on the normal social media platforms like YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and all the listening uh, podcast platforms. I hope you enjoyed today's show. And more importantly, I hope you gained a Pro Mindset insight. Please be sure to rate and review Pro Mindset Podcast, and I look forward to catching up with you on our next show.